how do we do better and by certain objective measures than projects that have hundreds or thousand times more uh, resources and staff? I don't think the answer is we're much smarter than they are. I think the answer is we've chosen an easier route. And the key to understanding that is how we're trying to control the plasma. Because to get fusion, you have to be able to control the plasma in some way. And basically, the dominant approach of almost all the other uh, efforts in fusion is to get the plasma to sit still, to behave. <laughs> Good dog. And the problem is, plasma does not want to sit still because of the pinch effect. This is a pinch effect is what we're using, but you can't avoid the pinch effect when you have plasmas. It means that plasma it wants to form currents that go in the same direction. They attract, they repel the currents going in the other direction. They form filaments. You basically get a can of worms, almost if you can imagine the filaments as worms. What we're trying to do is to use the instabilities to say, okay, the plasma wants to make, form these instabilities, so we'll, we will use the filamentation to compress the plasma. And in doing that, we're basically imitating nature. Nature doesn't produce tokamaks, but nature does produce filaments. It does produce plasmoids. It produces them at all sorts of scales. We observe them in solar flares. We observe them in what are called herbic harrow objects, which are the beams coming out of stars that are in the process of formation. We observe them in quasars. We have even observed them in the formation of our own spiral galaxies on, on, in extreme astronomical scales. Here on Earth, we certainly observe some of these same phenomena in some of the phenomena in lightning. For example, uh, in People may have heard of these things called sprites, which are lightning bolts that go upward into space, far above thunderstorms. And we observe filamentation in the aurora. So this is a basic organizing principle of nature. By using that organizing principle, by saying we want to guide the instability rather than fight the instability, I think we end up with a much easier path. And that's why we can get results with far less resources.